M0FXB. Welcome back to my videos on the Ham Geek 7 inch hotspot by Bravo Golf 7 November Oscar Tango. Someone asked me to save a backup because they accidentally wiped their card, which is uh, definitely would be worrying because you know this MMDVM hotspot will have a specific car, you know, settings configuration that you need. So I'm going to save here and make a backup and put it onto my Facebook group so that others can find it. So all you do is go to configuration. Now, one key thing, if you've got one of these and it keeps flashing with a weird language, don't forget to scroll down and just change it to the dashboard language to English UK. And then you won't have Google trying to translate it all the time. Otherwise, the normal settings that this is for a duplex hotspot. So you've got two frequencies there. Um, just pause it if you want to copy them. And it's the, the hat we're selecting is the normal Pi Star hat, you know, here. Um, and then we're in DMR mode, of course. And when it's duplex, you do select these two dots here. And of course, you need your call sign DMR number and Wi Fi is at the bottom. But the backup is nice and easy. You just select backup and then just here where it says download configuration, click it. And it will just download to your file. We've got an error there. So the file is just up here in my downloads, look there. And I'm gonna save it to my Facebook group. So just look here, I've got this page, PyStar support, and people ask lots of questions uh, to help them with their PyStar, including me. And I do upload, for any file of interest, I tend to upload here to so just go to files. And um, ah, there's not many here, is there? I know that Facebook, sometimes it would just have a clear out. But anyway, if you've got any files that you want to upload there, please go ahead. But today we've uploaded that one there and I'll show you the Ham Geek listing. I wouldn't say it's one of, one, one of the ones I use all the time because it's so big. <laughs> Let me grab it. There you are. There it is there. And it's basically inside got a Raspberry Pi 3B. But it's also got a load of batteries in there as well on this side so the idea behind that is you can like and i have made videos on it before but anyway unplug it i've had it on charge for about an hour so and it just charges via usb and there's a button on the side let's see if that's gonna if it's on charge you do need a decent amount of charge otherwise it won't come on with the switch and there's a switch here just here it's not coming on at the moment let me just have a look yeah, it's not charged because I, I haven't used it for months. But on the top, you see it on the top, plug it in. It's actually started to come on straight away. Sorry about the rubbish thing. And you push the button, it connects the battery. You push another button, it completely disconnects the battery altogether. Okay. And it takes a couple of minutes to boot up, just like any Raspberry Pi. Just hold that. So let's look at the rest of the listing. All right, scrolling down. So it's 3D case. And uh, you can see the back there. You can just about see the internals. The top. And it's got, oh, there is actually a HDMI out. Hmm. Well, I suppose all Raspberry Pis have that, but I wonder if, it, if that actually works. I'm going to test it in a sec. I don't, I don't think it's designed to, but there's your button on the side. That's the display. Very nice. And yeah, you can get a green one. I'll put the linking anyway. That's the little feet it's screwed on the side. It has come on now, by the way. But if I am, I need to charge it. That's what I need to do. Thanks for watching. I'll put the links in the description. And uh, inside the batteries are those big yellow ones. What is it? 1850 or 18650. Very common batteries. The larger type. These aren't little AA ones. And they're rechargeable batteries. And it's got a circuit board in there as well. That, um, you know, make sure that when it is charging and using those batteries, it's done safely. Let me just quickly plug it into my HDMI. Yeah, I plugged it in. It's just showing a black screen. If I reboot it, 
Um, see if we get the boot up. Look, there's the booting up. I just plugged it into, you can buy a USB to HDMI adapter and plug it into your PC and, and basically OBS Studio is picking up that signal. It's very good, they're only about seven quid. Look, there it is, they're booting. Um, so yeah, you get that with any Raspberry Pi. Clever, isn't it? It's nice to see. If you're into Linux. And I just could hear it then uh, saying Pi Star as well there. Pi Star booting. Fascinating stuff, isn't it? You'd be surprised how many other devices you can plug into your PC with that little HDMI adapter. Let's let it boot. Let's grab it. It has booted. Cool. Um, to the same as what you were seeing before and then the pi star the hdmi that we're grabbing from that is just there i'm sorry but i can even see the connection see as i wiggle and just now i could hear some dmr activity let's should we try it let's um i know this is fun but <laughs> let me just make it bigger oh what's that on the hdmi it's trying to show something I don't know. There is someone I I met one person who, and um, they sent me a link. I think it was Carl actually. It was working now. Uh, oh, we're we trying to get this in. So you can see it works. I need to load the um, contact CSV onto this. Get all the contacts on there. 878. I've got the new H1 by... Retivis, is it Retivis? No, Aylance, Retivis Aylance. And they've, you can't really see it. But anyway, bye for now. It's all about the backup file, this video. 7-3, all the best.